Hey y'all, it's Fab Jen. I'm back with another video. Don't mind Mickey Mouse in the background there. Sorry to be on the Clinique's Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer Foundation. That makes no sense what I just said. So this is what it looks like. Typical Clinique boxing, packaging, however you want to say it. Really nice, feels sturdy, feels of quality. The price point on this, by the way, is $27.28 bucks. Really affordable for a department store foundation. Comes in a plethora of colors from the deepest to the lightest. So there are several shades darker. Sorry, this is the wrong one. There are several shades darker than my complexion. So there should be a shade for you. If not, I do apologize, but they do have a very, very good range of shades. Okay, that being said, it's also one fluent ounce. The actual bottle itself is made out of glass. So if you are a freelancer, you might not like that it's glass, but it is a pretty sturdy uh, glass bottle and then you have the doe foot applicator so definitely if you're freelance you will probably hate the shit out of this because this wouldn't be sanitary for you to use on your clients you would have to remove the top and then pour it out on a dish but normal consumers will probably even be annoyed by this because I was relatively annoyed I think that was one of the downfalls for me uh, mainly was the doe foot applicator because I had to kind of you know it didn't evenly just pick up as much product as I would like it to so I dabbed it once but then what was left it wasn't enough so I had to go back in at least two or three times that being said this is what the packaging looks like so the claims on this foundation let's go through it it says it's allergy tested 100% fragrance free there is no fragrance to it however there is like a makeup -y foundation smell to it but it's not like pungent like the Kat Von D was. There's the op, it's optimal, optometrist, ophthalmologist tested, sorry, moderate to full coverage, which is true, natural matte finish, which is true. This is not a dry matte. So this is for normal combination to oily skin. Dry could use this, but I would highly suggest you prep your skin with a little bit extra moisturizer and make sure you exfoliate if you have dry patches. Don't exfoliate every day, but exfoliate at least two yeah, or three times. If your skin is sensitive or you can't exfoliate, then don't do it. Okay, and here we go. A foundation and concealer in one for a natural, beyond perfecting look that lasts all day. Lightweight, moisturizing makeup covers thoroughly without clogging pores. Color stays true, even though even through sweat and humidity. For complete coverage, dot all over the face and blend. Use the unique applicator to spot conceal oil free. Now, uh, this does surprisingly does not oxidize. At least I haven't noticed any oxidation. It stays true to color all day. It does last through sweat and oil. So I can testify to that. I've been trying this product out for approximately two weeks. So I've been in and out of the Texas heat and it, it it's last. I haven't noticed any shifting, moving, or transferring. However, I do prep my skin and set my makeup with tons of powder because that's just my routine, but I haven't noticed any moving. It doesn't emphasize pores. It's actually really nice for that, but uh, it doesn't blur either, but it's really, really nice. Considering the price point, this is really quite lovely. And I've really thoroughly enjoyed it. It doesn't feel super heavy on my face. Of course, I wear a lot of makeup, so it has to be pretty heavy for me to feel it on my face. But I, it felt lightweight. It buffed right into the skin. It didn't leave my skin dry because I do have combination skin oily in the T-zone. Normal to dry around the perimeter. For two weeks, I have not had a problem with this. So this isn't because of this. However, I did try the Clinique BB Cream, the new one. It is amazing. It's got amazing coverage, but I think the SPF in it broke me out. So anyway, so it is excellent. For $27.28, bucks, this is amazing. I even went ahead and brought another one for highlighting. Um, this one is in Golden Neutral. I actually need another one because this is fairly too light. I swashed it in the store thinking like, yeah, that's fine. But it's a little bit too light, so I have to use a light hand with it, but it blends really nicely with the concealer and everything that I have on. But I use this to highlight with, and it works perfectly fine. So if you don't want to spend that $26 or $27 on that NARS Radiant Concealer, get this. This is really, really nice. It's not drying underneath my eyes, and it sets really nice. And I want to apologize to someone, I don't know if it was on Instagram or YouTube, it could have been both, that wanted me to review this, and I thought they didn't have my color, but golden is, as far as the color, a color I'm reviewing is golden, by the way. Hello, I didn't even tell you the color. The color that, that I picked, I thought it was too red, 
it's slightly and I mean slightly a little red orange and I'd rather it be just slightly a little red orangey especially since it has that orange tint in it to color correct so I don't mind but slightly for me a little red orange but it takes the powder beautifully so whatever powder I put on top of this it works excellent it picks up that undertone it picks up that color not a problem perfect with powders I never this is one of those foundations that I know is pairing it with a powder like it didn't oxidize it didn't change it actually did what I want that powder to do which was to correct whatever I needed it to correct so I was very 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 surprised with this because the other one that I reviewed the stay matte one oxidizes this one did not oxidize I me mean, I really 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 liked it thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it so if you're new to makeup and you want something high-end but you don't want to spend the money boom babe get the Clinique don't get the Mac get the Clinique and I know Clinique is like kind of synonymous with oh youth and you know the their first high-end product Clinique is no joke their blushes are fucking on fire they've got some amazing products and I know grown women we need to look at Clinique Clinique is extremely reasonable so this one is a yes oily skin normal skin I can see dry skin combination skin so it's absolutely I believe for all skin types I really did thoroughly enjoy this I will have a wear test of course I will have swatches in this video if you have any questions please let me know if I don't respond right away and it takes me a month or two to respond I'm sorry it's just that I will be working almost every single day for the next month and a half so I don't even know when this video is gonna go up but this is the Clinique perfecting yes, yes so if you awesome. want to kind of keep up with me definitely check out my instagram again if you have any questions please feel free to ask rate comment and subscribe if you like i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye